So for pile four, I think you're somebody who can be very closed off emotionally at times, but you're also somebody who's very deep, very, very deep, sensitive, emotional, loving, just very, very emotional and loving, a very deep person but mysterious, somebody who guards that a little bit because being a very deep person, you may be an empathic person even, being a very deep person like that at times, you know, things happen to where we end up building up that wall around ourselves a bit to keep ourselves safe, that kind of like a cancer, that shell to protect us from the outside. Kind of like a diamond in the rough, and this is making me think of an iceberg and a diamond in the rough. On the one side, it's got all that going on, but on the other side, look at it sparkle and shine and how beautiful it is, but it's hidden beneath that layer of rock that you got to get through. So for you, we have... You are a true friend, loyal, honest, respectful. You defend those you love as well. You are always grateful, no matter how life looks. I think it was pile three I'm thinking of. This one has some shared qualities with pile three. Calming, balanced, harmony, love, light. <clears throat> happiness, optimism, hope, inspiration. <clears throat> so you're somebody who really brings a lot of peace to this person's life. And you're somebody who's very grounded in reality. Somebody who can make peaceful decisions. Somebody who is very diplomatic and can really bring harmony to any situation. Somebody who is really filled with a lot of love, a lot of deep love. Somebody who's very happy, optimistic, hopeful, brings inspiration to others. You're somebody who really cheers people on and supports them and makes them feel like they can do anything. You make this person feel like he could do anything or she. You bring this person a lot of optimism and hope and love into their life. So then we have the Six of Swords, the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Swords, the Knight of Cups, and the Page of Wands. So, things this person loves about you. You're somebody who doesn't like conflicts. You're somebody who likes to believe that hope and peace are coming in when there's a conflicting situation going on. You're somebody who likes to trust that everything will be just fine again. <clears throat> After the storm clears, there will be a rainbow. You're somebody who inspires others to believe that even though things are down, they will come up again. You're somebody who's very high vibrational, somebody who's very happy, somebody who makes this person very happy, somebody this person could really imagine having a beautiful, happy, loving family with. This person also loves that from every downfall, from every mishap that happens, from every betrayal, from every hardship, from every loss, you gain knowledge. You're somebody who learns from those things. You're somebody who is still willing to jump out there on this new beginning and this new adventure even after these endings. Somebody who still believes in love. Somebody who believes in love to a very high level. Somebody who is very creative, romantic. Somebody who's very dreamy. Somebody who really has a high level of self-love and expresses that love to others. Somebody who may at times seem see things from a rose-colored point of view. So at times it might be good to bring that back into a more grounded viewpoint. 
but you're somebody, but this is something that this person really loves about you. You might even be poetic. You know, you might really enjoy music. You might really enjoy singing or writing or telling stories. You might be somebody who really expresses themselves very passionately, very boldly. Somebody who really inspires others to see things from a new perspective, to gain knowledge, to go on adventures themselves, to end their pain, and to find a higher vibrational state of being. <clears throat> we have the elephant, and we have the tarantula. Hmm. They are both fire signs. That's what I was thinking was fire signs. So for the tarantula, at a crossroads and claiming's life, claiming life's purpose. The tarantula represents a moment when a decision must be made. It involves prioritizing your deeper life, deeper life purpose or dharma. A habit or a routine from the past is sidetracking you from your dream, yet a voice inside keeps begging you to refocus your attention in order to find true happiness. You must choose dharma. Until you do, satisfaction will be fleeting. The tarantula hovers patient and calm like an old friend that knows your inner soul. It already knows you will choose wisely. When in balance, follows intuition. When out of balance, hesita hesitates or over-intellectualizes to bring into balance daily journaling. So, like I said, you may be somebody who writes as well. You're somebody who relies on your intuition very heavily. Somebody who believes that you have a deeper purpose in life. Somebody, You might be somebody who could possibly at times get stuck in some sort of victim hood mentality, thinking that everything bad that could happen will happen. The opposite of the bright, shiny optimism sometimes can come with very low lows at times as well. And, you know, taking the time to balance that a little bit could help you as well. Just to throw that out there. Gotta say what I see in there, and it may not resonate with everyone, but at times it is we all get stuck in that energy at times that thinking that everybody's out to get us but you know you seem like you're somebody who really focuses mostly on the happiness that could come maybe you've had to learn a lot of tough lessons from the optimism you've had as well but you also believe that that has to do with your higher purpose and if it wasn't for those things happening, you wouldn't be who you are today. I could really see that being part of it as well. Unstoppable, auspicious, and wise for the elephant. The elephant is arguably the most auspicious figure in the deck. Like Ganesh, the elephant represents immense wisdom as well as good fortune. It is said that the great elephant is the destroyer of obstacles, so if this card appears when you feel stuck, rest assured the path will soon become clear. To add to the mystery, the elephant is also known to create obstacles in order to steer us in the right direction. Trust this gentle, noble creature. It illuminates the way with light of self-knowledge. When in balance, one-pointed focus, generous, loving, when out of balance, misunderstands fate to bring into balance trust. So you're somebody who really can be very focused on one thing, very intent. And when you decide on something, nothing will get in your way. Nothing will keep you from going after your life's purpose. Nothing will be able to get you down for too long. Any of these obstacles, lies, betrayals, hurt, hardship, endings, whatever, none of it bothers you and you are going to stay focused on your life's purpose and keep moving towards it with joy, optimism, hope, happiness, and peace. And that's what this person loves about you the most. So that's what I have for this reading. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed this. And if you have anything you'd like to say in the comments, let me know. I'd love to hear your feedback or if you have a video suggestion for me. I'll take it into consideration. Thank you. Have a good night. Bye.